three different positions that people take on prayer. And there are three different views. And as I said earlier, sadly, many take an extreme view on this subject. Now, I take the middle view. I take the Bible view. I have always believed this, and I have always taught this. Amen? And what I'm going to show you today is what I have always believed. And I am not against prayer. In no way, shape, or form have I ever been, or am I against, prayer for any reason or any way. So what I want to do today is I want to throw this up here on the board, show you these three different positions on prayer, and see if you can't get it. Because it's so simple once we get it. And then let's all... Let's all be on the same page. It's a shame to me that these people on opposite extremes, all they want to do is attack one another. When if we all get in the same page, then there's nobody to attack, and we can all work together as true Christians serving the Lord. So let's start in the middle here. The saved position. The right teaching is that we're saved by faith. And we're saved by faith from the heart. Now this is the Bible position. Oh, hearth by H-E-A-R-T. Yeah, let me take that H off the end. So we're saved by faith from the heart. Now that's what the Bible teaches. Now there's this other extreme over here that many have gone to, and they say you're saved by prayer. And they will literally tell you that the prayer saves you. And they say that the prayer with the mouth, or with the lips only. I'll put lips. And they say only. And they believe that the way to get to heaven, all you have to do, the only thing you have to do to get saved, is just go to God and say, oh God, save me with your mouth. And they say, that saves you. If that saves you, then your prayer has saved you, and prayer saves. I guess Jesus doesn't. <laughs> I guess prayer does. You see how that teaching leaves out salvation by believing in the blood of Christ. If you come to God and you say with your mouth, Oh God, I demand you to save me right now! Do you think He will? If you come without trusting the gospel, without the blood, you are coming as a sinner and demanding God to do for something for you, a sinner. But you haven't come through the way God said to have your sins taken out. The other side is over this other extreme, saved by, by knowing, I'm going to put believing, over here believing from the heart, this is a different belief, this is believing from or with the mind only. Okay, so you have the Bible position, the Bible teaching, that we're saved from, by faith or by believing from the heart. So when we believe in the gospel from the heart, that's when we're saved. So the gospel is essential. You must know what Jesus did, understand what Jesus did, and then with all your heart, all your being, all that you are, trust in the finished work, the blood atonement of Jesus Christ. That's the Bible position. But on one extreme, you have these people that say, no, you don't have to know anything about the blood of Christ. You don't have to know anything about the gospel. You just come to God with your mouth and say, oh God, save me. Well, that's an extreme position, and that's wrong. That makes prayer the saving medium rather than Christ. But then on the other extreme, you have people that say, well, all you need to do is just know with your mind that Jesus died, and if you just believe it in your head, then you're saved. But is that enough to just believe in your head that Jesus died and was buried and rose again? No, there must be a belief from the heart. So you have these extremes. Now let me show you what this is. This is, over here, this teaching that prayer only saves. This is it. This is the teaching that you're saved by prayer only. This is Phariseeism. This is a Pharisee, and I'm going to show you that here in a minute, why I call this position Phariseeism. But this is the position that prayer only saves, and this is basically what the Lordship Salvation people teach. Lordship Salvation says, if you will just ask God, or beg God, 
or just repeat the prayer, then you're saved. And just come to God and just say, Oh, God, save me. And they say that you're saved by the mouth. What you say with your mouth. That's the Pharisees. The Pharisees put all the emphasis on the mouth, but they did not come to Jesus with their heart. The middle position is the Bible-believing position. This is what a Bible believer believes. We believe what the Bible teaches, that salvation is by faith from the heart. This is the position that faith saves us. We're saved by our faith, not by our speaking or our saying. This is the true Bible-believing position. Now this other one over here on the opposite extreme, this would be intellectualism. Intellectualism. Those that are highly intellectual. <laughs> Their idea is that knowledge saves. And so they say, well, you just need to, to know this with your mind. It doesn't matter if you believe it in your heart. As long as you just know it upstairs, then you're saved. They say, this, this crowd, and I've met some of them, they say, no prayer ever. So they go to extreme of saying you can never, ever say a prayer. And if you ever pray, then you're lost. Because prayer is not what saves. So you see how that's an extreme? Now what do I believe? Well, I believe what the Bible says. You can be saved with or without prayer. You can pray and be saved the very moment you pray, if you're trusting the gospel and the blood of Christ. Or you can be saved the moment you believe from the heart and not even pray from the mouth. But this is what the Bible teaches. It's the mouth... <laughs> You can say something with your mouth and be saved at the very same moment if you're trusting from the heart. But if all you do is say something from the mouth and you've not trusted from the heart, then you're still not saved. Well, there are people in the world that say, well, you never pray. It's when you believe. And all you have to do is just look at it and understand it and say, oh, well, I believe, and you're saved. And they, they're intellectuals. And what are they? Well, this is what I would call your Calvinist side. Now, no, I'll get in trouble with a lot of Calvinists, and that's fine. Most of your people today that claim they're Calvinists, they really aren't. They, um, they follow some of Calvin, but not all. But if you go to the extreme, as I've seen many Calvinists do, they say that all you have to do is believe with your mind what Jesus did, and you're saved. They don't put the emphasis on faith from the heart. There are those that are on this extreme... Let's say, Lordship Salvation, it's the mouth that saves, so if you just ask God to save you with your mouth, then you're saved. Wrong, bad, bad doctrine. You're into an extreme. You're not where the Bible is. You're trying to make salvation what you do with your mouth. Then the other extreme is, well, I just believe with my mind. Oh, this would be the, the head argument. You know, I believe from the head in what Jesus did. But salvation is not that. Salvation is trusting from the heart. So let me get out of the way so you can see this. We've got the three different positions, and here's what bothers me. The people on one extreme always like to attack those on the other extreme. So let's say you're one of these crowd. What are you going to do? You say you're saved when you... Well, here's another one. They say whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord. So they say call is with the mouth. And they put all the emphasis on the mouth. And they say, yeah, that's how you're saved. You just call on God with the mouth and you're saved. And so they will attack this group... And then they will attack this group. And so they go out of their way to attack these people. <laughs> and yet, if they would just read the Bible, they could get here in the middle where we should be. And then this side, this extreme, well, they attack this group. And then they attack this group. And that's why in Christianity today, you have so many that claim to be Christians that are attacking and fighting with one another. And who are they that are attacking? Notice, who's attacking? The extremists. Those that took an extreme position on one side or the other are those that like to attack the other two. <laughs> but if you take the middle position, the Bible-believing Christian position, what the Bible teaches, you don't need to attack anybody. Why? Because, hey, you can get saved when you pray. As long as you trusted the gospel at the same time, that's great. As long as you believe the gospel, you're saved. Why would I attack either one of those people? I don't want to attack them. But they want to attack you. Now, 